Hello, welcome. Let's try to solve a design encode problem 1166 design file system. Uh, so we have the path. So the path will always be valid. So it's going to be uh, forward slash with some three and forward slash with some three. Or directly it will be uh, forward slash with a three. So this is going to be valid. And the empty three or just a slash, it is not valid. And uh, all the paths would be valid. So each path is valid and consists of lower English letters and a forward slash. Yeah, so it's gonna always be like that. Forward slash with lower English letters. Yeah, we just need to finish uh, two functions. So for the create path is that we are giving a string path and with a value. And basically we just need to build a hash table so create a new path and associate a value to it if possible. So if it is possible, uh, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. So the false condition is that if the path already exists. So if we were to build a path uh, forward slash with A, if it already exists, if we were to create it again, so we're going to return false because it already exists. So this means, uh, yeah, uh, from here, uh, we're going to design a have table. It's going to be the default date as it is value. So we're going to choose an integer. So yeah, for this line, if uh, how to return a false. So if it exists, so if path already uh, inside the dictionary, uh, so this means uh, it already exists. So we're going to return a false. So otherwise, we're going to try to uh, return a true. Yeah, so the true condition is that yeah, we can associate a value to it if possible. Yeah. Yeah, if it already exists, or there's another condition, its parent path doesn't exist. So this means uh, the parent path must be exist if we want to return a true. So for example, for the second example, uh, for this uh, lead. So there is a lead, we have this lead, and then we can build the lead code uh, and with a value of two. Yeah, so this means it must exist. If there's no lead and we directly want to build a lead code, it is not possible. So we're gonna uh, return a false. Yeah, but anyway, uh, let's just uh, uh, return the get if we can get a value or not. So the get is uh, the value associated with path. So this means if we can find it, we're going to return a value. Yeah. So we're going to return self.d uh, path. So if path in self.d, otherwise we're going to return a minus one. Now I think the hard part would be uh, created the path. Now let's try to create a path and how to create it. Uh, we just to try to use this example uh, lead code. So if we were to build a path like that, uh, we have to check if there, if the lead exists or not. If the, if this lead exists, uh, so basically we can build this kind of a path. Yeah, but how can we find it? And we're gonna check uh, reversely from the right to the left. So if we find a slash. So we're going to check this lead as a prefix. So we're going to check this prefix. So if the prefix is inside of the dictionary, so we're going to build it and we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. Yeah, now let's try to write it like this. So I'm going to prepare n, going to be the length of the path. So for i in range, n minus 1, minus 1 and minus 1. Um, basically, we need to check the path i. So if pass i equal to the forward slash, uh, we're going to prepare another variable j, so equal to i, and then we're going to break it. Now we have this character j, we have the prefix. So the prefix would be the path from, uh, uh, yeah, from nothing, from 0 to uh, this j. So this is going to be the prefix. So we need to check if uh, not prefix. The prefix may not exist. So for example, there's only a lead. Yeah, so this means the prefix uh, not exist, or uh, prefix inside the dictionary. So this means we're gonna set it. So we're gonna use the self dot d uh, with pass, uh, so equal to the value, and we're gonna return a true. Otherwise, we're gonna uh, return false. So basically, it's gonna be like that. Uh, so this is going to be the entire code. Basically, it is not so difficult. And the type complexity would be 100 times uh, 
10 to the power of 4 because it's 10 to the power of 4 calls. And for each of the create or get, we basically need 100 time. So it is uh, 100 times 10 to the power of 4, it is 10 to the power of 6. Yeah, as you can see, it is so for the create, basically we just need to find one, one string. And this pass length is 100. It means the string length is also 100. And also for here, we just need to check if it is inside, it is also uh, on time. So the time complex time, yeah, 10 to the power of 6. Now let me uh, submit it to check if it works. As you can see, it works and it's pretty fast. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.